here and I have gotten so many requests for this video. This is gonna be a video on building your wardrobe with minimal essential pieces or just like staple pieces that you need in your wardrobe and what you can build your wardrobe with because I think that uh, investing in like quality staple pieces that you can wear a lot that fit nicely things like that, it just makes your wardrobe all over a lot better. And I typically do shop a lot for more basics as opposed to trendy pieces. I kind of actually do a mixture of both. I don't spend a lot of money on trendy pieces. I spend more and invest more on staple pieces. So I just wanted to share with you guys my top 12 staple pieces I think that you guys should invest in, that you need in your minimal wardrobe. And these are just basics that you can pair every single day and you'll always be able to find something in your uh, closet to wear. Starting with jackets, I wanted to share with you guys this leather jacket and I I personally am obsessed with leather jackets. I think every single person needs a leather jacket in their wardrobe. This is more of a moto um, jacket, and leather jackets also, they range in so many styles. Like you can get one that looks more of like a denim jacket, but that's made out of leather. Just any form of leather jacket is great for the colder uh, months and also like the spring, summer nights. I feel like leather doesn't keep you too hot, but it's very edgy, it's very cool. This particular one is from Oak, and it was a bit more on the pricier side, but I think investing in a quality leather jacket is so key if you're going for a more minimal basic wardrobe because it's a jacket you can wear every single day and it never gets old. Honestly, I think a biker jacket is just such a signature piece in anyone's wardrobe, so I definitely suggest having one of these. I also think a denim jacket is great. These are, I think denim jackets are more daytime, more hot weather, if you just want to add that extra layer. This one's particularly personalized. It says my name on it. I actually DIY'd this. I have a whole video on this on my channel of how I did this, so I'll make sure to put a little card above for you guys to watch that. Overall, denim jackets, I don't know. I think you can wear this with a pair of jeans and like a basic t-shirt, and this little bit of personalization also just adds that extra like you to the outfit, if that makes sense, because everyone has a denim jacket, so a denim jacket with a little bit of uh, maybe different style lines, different stitching colors, something that's a bit different than everybody else's. It's still super basic, but it's everyday wearable. Okay, moving in, I have just like a white button down, and I'm honestly not a huge fan of just pure white button downs. Um, I like the more soft, flowy, silky ones. This particular one is from Top Man and it does have like a stripe to it. I'm fully obsessed with this uh, button down. I just love it. I wear it tucked into jeans. I wear it outside of jeans. You can do a lot. You can layer it up, layer it down. And finding one that's in a nice fabric that you just feel like very nice and comfortable in I think is definitely key and then just something that is a bit more on the basic side this shirt is brand new it's actually from H&M's conscious exclusive collection and this is an organic silk shirt and I just really love this I think it is great because this is something that you can wear with jeans on an everyday basis but it's also something you can dress up a bit more formal so finding that button down that's a mix between everyday but can also be formal I think is super key in a basic wardrobe things that you can wear multiple different ways and sort of transform into different outfits going from everyday to formal wear I think if you need to just dress up for like a business meeting or you need to dress up for this or you need to go out for someone's birthday or something, I just think having something like this is very key. We also cannot forget about just the basic crew neck. This particular one's from Brandy Melville and I just absolutely love it. It's actually a woman's but it fits amazing. It's like a little bit of a gray brown tone and I just think oversized crew neck sweaters are great. Like you can wear these over any type of pant, wear them with any shoe, any type of jacket, layer them up over the top of a button down, like whatever you want to do. This is just something to keep your body a little bit more insulated and a little bit more comfy if that's what you're going for. Um, I just really love comfortable clothing like this and if I could wear this every single day, which I mean I could if I wanted to, but if I could, I'd probably choose to wear something like this every day. I also think it's nice to just have like a knit sweater that you can pull out when you need to um, because having a knit is just a nice little bit of texture change as opposed to like a t-shirt or button down. I think knit just gives that extra little touch of fall winter if you're in the fall winter season or that extra little touch of like interest to an outfit. I think that knitting is just like, I love the way knit looks. So overall, I wear these all the time. This particular one has a little bit of styling to it. Um, it has an off hem, so like one of the hems is longer than the other one. It has a seam line down the front. 
finding knits with like a little bit of additional interest that piques your interest I guess you could say um, is interesting and I love the way that it looks I think I just said interesting like eight times in that sentence okay so these two pieces kind of go hand in hand and one of them is just a bright colored t-shirt and one of them is your everyday basic t-shirt and there's also two other differences this one is a very like more of a heavy knit shirt which are my actual favorite types of shirts to wear so overall I think it's just um, really nice if you want to introduce color into your wardrobe to introduce it like very gradually with something like a t-shirt so if you do want to just pair it simply like just put on a colored t-shirt pair of jeans and then like throw on over the top of it your favorite jacket or something and I think that it gives you a little bit of a pop of color but it's not overpowering the outfit with like color so I think having maybe a few of your favorite color options in just t-shirts is great in any basic minimal wardrobe I also love 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 these Uniqlo tees and these are also not something that you really have to invest in but I think that having just nice t-shirts all around is great. Uh, I love t-shirts. I wear them all the time. They're my favorite just easy pieces of clothing and they're so staple and just effortless. You throw them on, you can roll up the sleeves, lots of different stuff. I did also just want to share something with a bit of graphic to it. This is my favorite champion hoodie. I just think having um, some form of graphic element in your wardrobe, it doesn't have to be this particular hoodie. It could be a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, but something with like a bit of a logo to it. So it's not just plain colors all the time, mixes it up. Um, it could also just be a pattern. Um, overall, I love this hoodie here. This is from, I got it on Essence. I just love, I just love, 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 love hoodies. Like just throw them on so cozy and you can put like a jacket over them. Another super functional piece I like to have is a blazer. And I think finding a blazer that can translate into something formal, but also translate into like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and just like super casual off the shoulder blazer moment is exactly what like I look for. And this one is really nice. It's like um, a bit of so something a bit more fun, textured. Um, it definitely translates into both formal and everyday. And of course, last but not least, can you guys hear the siren in the background? It's like, that's living in LA. We have a few pairs of pants. So these pants are my probably my number one best investment I've ever made in my life. These are a pair of Acme Studios jeans. I believe they have a double dyed cash denim in black. I think that's what they are. I got them cropped. If you go to the Acme store, they actually can tailor the pants to your leg and they send them off and then you get them back in a few days. And I just am obsessed with these. Like they are the perfect crop length and I've had these for probably two years and they're still pitch black you guys like these are insanely black and i've watched them multiple times like that's the great thing about investing in quality denim is that you're gonna get your money's worth because if these were just like a pair of h&m jeans they would be light gray by now and they probably would not be fitting at all and these jeans fit amazing still I just love them. I will reinvest in these any day they ever go. Like, I lose them or something, or something happens to them, I will reinvest in this pair of denim. And they weren't even too expensive, about $250, and wear them every day. And last but not least, for pants, I think that it's great to just have a pair of trousers that's not a pair of jeans. So something that's not jeans. This personal pair here is probably one of my favorite pairs of pants I own. I think they are so flattering on. And they're a pair of Zara, Zara, almost like cargo pants. They're black and it's kind of like an athletic mesh fabric. And they have these little pockets on the sides. But I got these on sale for like $15. And I got them about two years ago and I still wear them all the time. I think that they go nice with all my shoe options. Like they pair nicely with so many shirts. It's just like an updated trouser. And it also um, kind of replicates like a jean. They're super form fitting and skinny. And they also have like a lot of really nice little details, which I love, such as these little bottom panels with the zippers. So overall from this pair of pants, I can tell you that I think it's just nice to have something that's not a jean. So guys, that was my video today. It was just sharing with you guys my 12 basics that I think you need in building just very basic minimal wardrobe and these pieces can be mixed and matched with more trendier pieces um, for your everyday style if you want but I think that these are just like the key facets that every guy and I also think every girl can use. If you did enjoy make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification next to the subscribe button just to make sure you get all of my videos and